Hey guys, hey gamers, how's it going? This is Ryan Shand here again. Um, back with another pickups video, but as you can see, it's a pretty massive pickups video. This is all the games and stuff that I've managed to get over the last uh, about three, three, four weeks or so. Yeah, I know I haven't done a video for a while, and my last one um, was my Gold Skylanders and stuff. Um, but yeah, and I hope you uh, enjoyed my Mega Drive Collections video. Um, but anyway, let's get straight into it. This is all the stuff that I've picked up. Um, we'll start with the well, the console, well, the handheld that I got. Um, got a Game Boy Color. Uh, as you can see, it's got a wee sticker bit there. That was just the price label. That cost me four pounds. Um, doesn't have a back to it, but it did come with a game. Um, it came with um, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Which I already had, so I'm not including in this video. But, um, yep, so that works perfectly fine. So I'm happy with that. So I went out and got a couple of couple more um, Game Boy Color games to add to the collection. These were off eBay. Um, this is Noddy and the Birthday Party. Ah, uh, it's Noddy. What can I say? Robot Wars. Metal Mayhem. And I seem to find this game everywhere. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 4. That was, that was a job lot off eBay. The games I got for all three of them I got for two pound no. A pound and it was like one pound postage, so two pound, so that's not bad. Uh that's just a replacement case. Okay, on to the games now. There's a lot of PlayStation 2 games here as well. Uh first up is Minority Report Everybody Runs. This is complete. Fairly good condition. In the manual. I bought that for one pound seventy nine off eBay. And um, moving on to Inspector Gadget Mad Robots Invasion. That's complete as well. That's cool. I got that for I think it was one pound fifty on eBay. Next up, I like my RPGs, and I heard this is quite a good one. Arc Twilight of the Spirits. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have its manual. I'm a bit gutted about. I didn't realise that until I bid on it, and obviously I was the only bidder, so I won it. I had to pay it. It was only like only like 170 or something, so I did alright with that. <sighs> a rarish one. Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. I already have Metal Gear Solid 2, um, Sons of Liberty I think it is. But um, this is like the, like all the extra bits in the game. So I figured I'd get this as well. Um, I, this only cost me about £7 on eBay, so I did okay with that. And it's complete in good condition. It's got its manual, and it's got its disc, and it's also got a bonus disc. The document of Metal Gear Solid 2. I'm going to check that out. So yeah, it's all good. Uh, next up, I got this at Thainston. Rayman M. you got to love Rayman. Uh, don't worry, that wasn't the price I paid for it. That's just an original sticker someone left on. Uh, I got that for a pound at Thainston. Um, it's a really good car boot sale to go and get. You get hundreds upon hundreds of PlayStation 2 games there, and they're all in fairly good condition. It's got the manual and the disc. This I got off eBay. Um, the Suffering. I've always wanted to play this game, so um, I bought it for one pound as well, and it's complete in fairly good condition. So I'm happy with that. So I look forward to playing that. I've just recently uh, reset up my PlayStation 2 in my room. Um, I normally have my PlayStation 3 set up, so uh, I don't have room for the both of them, unfortunately. So I've had to set up my PS2, so I've got that on the go. Hiya! Next up is Real Fishing 3. This is complete. Only bought this because I heard it's quite a rare game, so. <clears throat> Bought that at Thainston for a pound, actually. So I'm happy with that. <coughs> Next up is the Punisher. This was a, I think it's a pound, pound for this. Yeah, a pound, a pound for this one. And that's complete. So fairly good condition for that. Next we've got Full Spectrum Warrior. Bought that for a pound as well. And that's complete. Yeah. Not too bad. 
And then we got Drakengard. I think that's how you pronounce it, or Drakengard or something. This is in mint condition, this only cost me 50p. That's complete as well. Um, Mark Echo's Getting Up, Contents Under Pressure, whatever. Never seen this game anywhere, so I thought I'd pick it up. It's only 50p. So that was all good. So, yeah. Black. <clears> There's <throat> some good things about this game, so I wanted to pick it up. This was 50p, but unfortunately it doesn't have its manual. Which I'm gutted about. I was trying to find PlayStation 2 manuals on a nightmare. If anybody out there has got some spare manuals for games that I don't have the manuals for, I'd happily buy them off you. Um, or if you just want to get rid of the games or whatever, I'd even buy them off you. Um, you know, so let me know, give me a shout. Um, next up is Echo the Dolphins, Defender of the Future. I bought this for £2 off eBay. So, yeah, that's complete with manual. And also got Fulcrum Warrior 10 Hammers. This actually came with Inspector Gadget, so case is a bit damaged there. That's what I got a replacement. The boy sent me through a replacement case on eBay. So, yeah, so that's full Spectrum Warrior 10 hammers. And that's complete. As you can see the box is a bit chipped at the top here. Sorry for rushing guys, it's quite a big video so I'm trying to keep the time down a little bit. Um, next I've got Spider-Man 2. I bought this at the same stall I bought Rayman M. And this is complete in good condition. And I actually played this one. So I tried this one out um, a couple of days ago. And it's good. Just the controls are quite tough in Spider-Man games. Especially when you're swinging through the city. Um, you got all of the graphics on it though. For you know, for a PlayStation 2 game. You know, for a movie game. It's pretty good. Right, moving on to the rare games that I've picked up. Um, and I've got these dirt cheap by the way. So you'll be jealous. I've managed to acquire... Marvel Ultimate Alliance for the grand total of £4 for the PlayStation 2. This is complete in good condition. Got a pre owned sticker there. I'm not sure if I put this in my last video or not, so. But I got that. Um, and I also got Shadow Hearts. This I got for £15, because I got £2 back from the guy who sold it to me on eBay. Because. The strategy guide that comes with it, because it's complete with this manual and strategy guide. Strategy guide is obviously been ripped and it's been restapled. The pages have come out of it because they're sticking out the top, so it's been restapled. But you know, I don't mind that. Let's stick that back in there. So, yeah, and I'm going to try this one. I, I really want to want to play this because I heard it's really really good. So, Shadow Heart. And, the lo I think this is the last of the PlayStation 2 games. Yeah, it is. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Dying to get hold of this game. It is really quite rare to pick up. Well, it's not rare to find. I mean, you can find it on eBay. But, trying to find a mint condition good one for only £9. You know, because this only cost me £9, including postage. It's very hard, so psyched with that. Right, so that completes the PlayStation 2 games. I'll move on to PlayStation 1 now. Um, Worms Pinball. This completes my Worms collection on the PS1. Uh, this was 50 pence, and that's got its manual. As you can tell, the box is a bit damaged there, so just at the top. So I'll put that back together after. Sabrina the Teenage Witch a Twitch in Time. This is only fifty pence. To be honest, I don't know why I paid fifty p for this. I should have probably got it for free. It's so crap. But eh, I was in mint condition, well, apart from the box. So I thought, what the hell? We'll get that. This one I was quite happy to find actually. It's the Help Charity compilation on the PS One. It's got Road Rash, Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, and Mist on it. Um, I do have Miss 3, um, so I thought that'd be kind of cool. And it's got its manual as well. This is normally the first stall I go to at Thainston. The guy normally sells all his games for £2 each. 
Um, doesn't matter if they're rare or not, they're just £2 each, so I thought, what the hell. So I got that, and that's in good condition, that one. So, yeah, really psyched to see that, because that sometimes goes for about £10 on eBay, so quite happy to get that for two. Um, another copy of Worms. You can never have too much copies of Worms, can you? That's complete as well. And Hugo, Frog Fighter. This was 50p. Yeah, I don't have any Hugo games, but uh, this is my first one, so yeah, I'll give it a go. See how see how it is. Um, okay. Actually, I tell a lie. It's not the last of the PlayStation Two games. I actually bought a job lot with a heap of discs. The guy was selling because <clears throat> one of the discs he had was for Shadow the Hedgehog, and and I wanted that game because I actually found the box. It didn't have the game in it, so the seller at Thainston gave me the box for free. So um, I got a job lot of the discs that had Shadow the Hedgehog in it, and it's in good condition, so it works fine. Um, but the games that I got through were Ben 10, Protector of Earth, MotoGP, Time Splitters 2, Edibles, Shark Tale. Eternal Quest and Minority Report. Everybody runs. Now I've already got Minority Report as you've seen right at the start of the video. So if anybody wants to do me a deal on those discs, and um, you know if you need them for your collection, because they're all in fairly good condition, then you know let me know. We'll see what we can do. I don't like collecting loose discs, so we'll see what we can do. I also bought an instruction manual, and um, this is for Mortal Kombat Trilogy. This was off eBay. This was um. Two pound fifty. Um, this is for the N sixty four version. Um, I think it's always a good idea if you're a collector and you like your your games complete. If you find manuals, buy them, because so many times you can never get a cheap game that you know without the man. Well, you can never get a cheap game that's got the manual in it. Um, especially if it's games that you want, they normally seem to be quite expensive. So I figured, well, Mortal Kombat trilogy in the N sixty four is quite expensive. And it's quite hard to find in the PAL region now, um, which I'm a bit gutted about. But I bought the manual, because complete box copies are going for like £30 a pop. Which I think is a bit m considering it's not really got all the characters in it. It's only one diff uh, variation of a character, Chameleon. Um, it's a female one uh, in the game. But I love Mortal Kombat. I love Mortal Kombat Trilogy in the PS1. Uh, I'm dying to get it on the Sega Saturn for the PAL version. Which um, heads up to any guys that has the Sega Saturn Mortal Kombat Trilogy game. If you're looking to sell, please, please, please get in touch with me. I'll give you a really good offer for that game. Um, so yeah. But yeah, so that's an instruction manual. So hopefully I'll find the game box at some point. I bought a uh, Sega Saturn game as well. Um, bought Alien Trilogy. This was off the guy that sells his games for £2. It was in fairly good condition. Let's get the disc and the manual. I already have this game, but the one I've got is in really bad condition, so this one's a lot better. And I love Alien Trilogy. I actually prefer the Sega Saturn version to the PS1 version. I've got the PS1 version, of course, but um, no, I prefer the Sega Saturn version. I think it's just fun. It's just much better, much better. The controls are a lot better as well. Right, on to I'll leave my retro games till last because I've got a couple of NES games, and um, Mega Drive games, and I've got an N64 game as well to show you. <coughs> So moving to Xbox, <coughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I'm sorry, I just love it, I love the TV series, um, I love sitting and watching them with my girlfriend, and uh, you know, it's, it's all good, and I just had to get a Buffy game, and this one only came out on the Xbox apparently, so I thought why the hell not, I went and bought um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds for the PS2, um, I'm not sure if that's on Xbox. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is on Xbox as well. But yeah, I haven't played them yet, but I'm looking forward to firing up the Xbox and playing that bad boy. Silent Hill 4, The Room. This is in good condition as well. Um, for the Xbox. I actually prefer Xbox graphics to the, the PlayStation 1 or PS2, so yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that a bash. Mortal Kombat Deception. Because you gotta love Mortal Kombat. What can I say? I love Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And I gotta tell you, out of the 3D games, um, Armageddon, Deception, and Deadly Alliance, 
For some reason, Deception just does it for me. This is my favourite Mortal Kombat 3D game out of a lot of them. <clears throat> I don't like the 3D versions of Mortal Kombat, but this is my favourite one. And I wanted to get it on Xbox just to see what it was like. I played the shit out of the PS2 version. I completely got everything you can possibly get in that game. All the crypt items and everything. <clears throat> so I wanted to see what it was like on the Xbox. See if the graphics were any different. Um, this was off eBay, Jade Empire. Um, this is boxed and complete. This is actually a job lot. The next three games are job lots. I got them all together. So I've got Jade Empire, Fable. They're all complete in good condition. And <coughs> Sudeki. Complete. I don't know how rare they, those games are, but they look kind of crap. So. I got those three games um, for £5. It was free postage, so I thought, what the hell. Okay, so that completes my fairly newish games. I've got one, actually, collector's edition um, box set to show you, but I'll show you that last. But um, next up, this is Mega Drive Games. I bought this one at Thainston. The Haunting, starring Poltergei. 86% the best program game since Echo from Mean Machines. Alright, okay. We shall see. Mine was a bit scuffed, but it's alright. And again. That was, um... £2 for that. And then it was. Don't see a lot of Mega Drive games at Saints then. I see a lot more now than I used to. Um, gotta say, but... Yeah, for £2 I thought, what the hell, I'll give that a bash. These next three Mega Drive games I got off eBay. And I got them for a good deal. F1 on the Mega Drive. An official product of the FIA Formula 1 World Championship. So they say. This is complete in mint condition. You can see it's got the manual and it's got the game. World class leaderboard. Mega Drive. This is complete as well. In good condition. And a game I used to have, but I didn't have the manual for, and I got rid of it ages ago, so I decided to get it back. Wrestle War. And that's complete as well. So that completes my Mega Drive games. Moving on to my NES games that I got through. These from America. These were the ones I was talking about in doing a NES Collections video. I was waiting for these to come through before I do one. So I'll get on to doing a NES Collections video shortly. Um, this is Jeopardy, 25th Anniversary Edition. I've got a NES that can play NTSC region, PAL region, um, and fuck it, other regions, PAL B. So this is complete, this is in mint condition. <coughs> Apart from a little scuff at the top. Um, this didn't have the manual, but uh, I went and bought the manual, and it came through really quick, around about the same time as the game did, so yeah, that's all good. And all new Junior Edition Wheel of Fortune. Which uh, I'm looking forward to playing this actually, because it looks not too bad. For an NES game, that looks alright. So those two came through. Those were um, £10. I think it was about £5 postage, so not bad for my NES games. Um, next up, you'll be <laughs> this I'm psyched with. The seller kind of cocked up a little bit, but I'll show you what he did. Mystical Ninja starring Goman on the N64. The box is in fairly good condition. Uh, it's complete with this manual. However, if we open it up... Now this I was so happy with. The manual is there, and that's for Mystical Ninja starring Goman. However, the game inside isn't Mystical Ninja starring Goman. Nope. The game inside is... Da -da -da -da. Mystical Ninja 2, starring Goman. Now this game is rare, so he's kind of cocked up a little bit. This, I'm so happy to find this. I'm psyched that it came in the box uh, with this game. Normally I get really disappointed if they don't send me the game that I bought, but you know what? I'm making an exception on this one. I'm so happy with that. So happy with that. Because, I mean, I can get Mystical Ninja for the N64 in the PAL region quite cheap. You know, if I get the cart, I can, I can get it quite cheap. But that... Mystical Ninja 2 I can't get cheap at all, so happy with that. Um, on to a couple of accessories that I bought <coughs> for my N64. 
I bought myself a rumble pack. Now I got this at Thainston for 50 pence. I already have one rumble pack, um, but this is uh, for the other controller that I have. So now I've got two controllers with two rumble packs. That's fine. And I also got this for £2, <coughs> off the guy that sells his stuff for £2. Nintendo 64 Game Boy Transfer Pack. <coughs> now I thought stupidly that you could play Game Boy games on your N64 with this, but no you can't. This is more for like Pokemon. Um, if you want to like transfer data across from the Game Boy to the N64, that's what this, this is all about. But, it's cool to have that anyway. I've never seen that before, so I thought it was kind of cool. And the cream of the crop for me, this is... Oh, excuse the, sh the camera work guys, I'm just trying to get this out of the bag. <coughs> Alone in the Dark Limited Edition in its box. I bought this at Thainston. I bought this for £4. Pound. Um, I'm a bit bummed. I can get it cheaper and better condition on Amazon. But, um, <coughs> you know, if you're buying this on Amazon, make sure you get it with a figure. You know, because you can get them for £3 on Amazon without the figure, but this has the figure. So, that's cool as fuck. It's my first um, games figure that I've had through. That's cool. It's got the game. I've already got the game. So that doesn't really matter. It's got a Alone in the Dark original soundtrack. And it's also got a making of, which is like a DVD. In there. So that's cool. And an art book. It's got some decent art images of the game. You know. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So I've got all that. So that was £3 at Thainston, I got that on Sunday. So yeah guys, that completes um, my gaming collection uh, pickups that I've had recently. Um, I hope you like them. Um, you know, let me know what you think. I haven't done a video for a little while, um, but I'm going to get on to doing a NES Collections video now. Um, soon. So let me know what you think. This is now officially the longest video I've done on YouTube. So, let me know what you think, and, yeah, um, let me know if i got some good deals. So, speak to you all soon, guys. Um, happy gaming, happy collecting as well. Um, as of next month, uh, for the month of July, I'm no longer, I'm going, well, I've got a couple things to buy on eBay, uh, which I've done deals with sellers to buy at the end of the month, but I'm no longer going to be buying games on eBay, because I need to save up for a holiday. Um, which I'm going away to Poland in August, which I'm excited about. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to be just doing games that I can find out in the wild. So I'll be doing my best to hunt some, down some rare games for you guys to view. But anyway, happy gaming, happy collecting, and speak to you soon. So there, boys. Bye.